So let's say that I have this function that I'm going to call L. And L takes in one bit as input, and it's going to give one bit as output. And the way that L behaves is it's going to return one if there's life on Mars, and it is going to return zero otherwise. How many think that I can compute this function with a NAND circuit? How many think I am unable to compute this function with a NAND circuit? Okay, discuss this with your neighbors. Try to come to an agreement about whether or not you can do this function with a NAND circuit. The important point here that, that you are making is that uh, basically there's a difference between being able to implement a function and knowing what the function is, is going to do. So we as humans don't know if the output to this function should just always be one or always be zero. But it's going to be one of those two. There are only two options for what this function is. It's either going to say for any x that you give as input, it's going to return one, or it's going to say for any x that you give it as input, it's going to return zero. I don't know what that, which one it is, but I know it's one of those two. There are two options, and I can implement either option. So it's either going to be like return one, or alternatively, if there isn't life on Mars, then I can implement this function by saying return zero. So without knowing the exact identity of a function, I can still reason about whether or not I'm going to be able to implement that with a circuit. Because I knew that it was going to be either the left function or the right function. I didn't know which one it was going to be, but I knew it was going to be one or the other. Both of them I can implement using a very simple program. So therefore, I can implement this entire function using a program. I can implement this using Python or NAND circuits or whatever I would like.